Hey guys, uh, this is Chef Pranav and I hope you all are safe and enjoying and uh, as I did my last recipe on the pesto sauce I had I got a lot of comments about people who did it and they really uh, they really like the flavor as well and uh, I hope uh, the rest of you must have also tried so guys uh, as I mentioned in, in my last video that I'm gonna do uh, pesto sauce pasta so today I'm gonna I'm here to, uh, to do that so very simple and easy recipe so I'm gonna cook my pasta at the start like an aloe olio style with some garlic, chilies, and and some basil. I've got I've got uh, olives and capers to add on, you know, give some more flavor. And I'm gonna finish off with my pesto, and then some parmesan cheese. And that's it. So I'm gonna tell you what I have today to start off with. Here I've got my spaghetti pasta today, and I've got this pesto sauce I made the other day. I've got some olives and capers. I've got some salt, some basil, I've got some chopped garlic, I've got my grated parmesan cheese, my olive oil and some pepper as well. So guys to begin with I'm gonna first start off with blanching my pasta. So I've got my boiling water ready. What I've done is this is about 2 litres of water and I've added about uh, 15 grams of salt into it. So it's very important when while you're blanching or cooking anything you should have salt. In your in your liquid so that you know it gets incorporated in whatever you're cooking so I'm gonna quickly throw in my pasta and then just wait for it to cook before I begin with the next step hey guys uh, so till the time I've got my pasta blanching in here I'm gonna quickly start off with doing my my sauce so I got I put some olive oil or garlic maybe a bit more half more so once my garlic is cooking I'm gonna add a bit of chili flakes as well so this is optional again if you guys don't want any heat you can avoid this I'm also gonna throw a bit of basil leaves right now so pasta when I'm cooking my pasta I want it uh, at a consistency where it's no, uh, where it has a bite to it which is called al dante now I'm gonna add my olives and capers to it vegetable stock which I made so I'm gonna add some salt to this. So I'm gonna add at this stage some salt, some crushed pepper. In case you guys want, you can also add some vegetables. To it if you have got like broccoli, beans, snow peas, so you can add add that as well. In case you guys love to eat meat, you can also add some grilled chicken, prawns, and uh, some meat as well if you guys. Can. My pasta is blonde. I just tasted it on here. I'm gonna put my pasta. Load on my heat, add my pesto sauce, so that's about a good 2 tablespoons, a bit more of that. I'm gonna finish off with heaps of parmesan cheese. 